Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome children to your Sira time. Today we continue with the conquest of Makkah, part 2. Let's see how did the Muslim army enter the Meccan city. We stopped last time when Abu Sufyan had gone outside to talk to the Prophet and now he had come back. So Abu Sufyan had become a Muslim. Just a few hours ago, he quickly rushed to his city to inform everyone that the Muslims were outside. They would soon come inside Mecca, so the people should save themselves. Anything could happen. He was afraid that whenever an army conquers a place, usually the powerful winners beat the losers, and they can even destroy their homes. So all those people were told, you can get into my house, you will be protected. You can get into the harem, you will be protected. Everybody felt that Abu Sufyan had changed. His wife, Hind, was surprised at how her husband was behaving. It looked like he was a coward, and this made her very angry. Some people even tried to flee away, who thought that he was not capable. So let's see how the day proceeded. After dawn, it was now clear morning light. A bright day ahead. It was the 17th of Ramadan and the 8th year of Hijri. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was calm and moving modestly, riding his camel. He checked his army, all ready to enter the Makkan city. Khalid bin Walid radiallahu anhu was to lead the right group of the tribes. As Zubair was to lead the left group and would come from the top side of Mecca. Abu Ubaidah anhu was to enter through a side valley with his group. The army was huge. They were powerful indeed. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told them while they were entering inside the city, crossing all these pathways, they should not kill anyone unless someone attacked them and they had to defend themselves. That was amazing. Have you ever heard of a conquest where the conqueror doesn't hurt people? Prophet ﷺ entered the city and first offered prayers of thanks to the Almighty who had given them victory. MashaAllah, what a beautiful thing to do. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that victory comes from Him. He was reciting Surah Fath as he entered the city. Then in the company of his companions, he went to the Kaaba. Calmly, with his head down, respectfully, as he sat on his camel, he did the tawaf. He had recited Surah Fath. A few verses can be shared here as well. Surah Fath verses 1, 2 and 3. Inna fatahna laka fatham mubina. O Prophet, surely we have granted you a clear victory. لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَّرَ وَيُتِمَّ نِعْمَتَهُ عَلَيْكَ وَيَهْدِيَكَ صِرَاطًا مُسْتَقِيمًا So that Allah may forgive you your shortcomings whether earlier or later and may complete His favors upon you and guide you to the straight way. وَيَنْصُرَكَ اللَّهُ نَصْرًا عَزِيزًا And that Allah may bestow upon you a mighty hell. As Prophet Muhammad وسلم, went around the Kaaba, there were idols around it, outside it, and inside it. So he started dropping the idols down with the help of his stick. They would drop down 
and he would be reading the surah of the Quran 1781 wa qul ja al haqq wa zahaq al batil inna al batil kana zahuqa truth has come and falsehood has vanished truly falsehood is ever bound to vanish mashallah indeed falsehood had vanished the idols were being dropped down now prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called for uthman bin talha uthman bin talha was now a muslim but in the days of pagan days he had the keys of the kaaba and they were still with him prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had wanted to enter the kaaba then even before migration many years ago but usman had at that time not let him enter and now being a muslim he was so embarrassed about it so usman radiyallahu anhu tried to bring the keys of the kaaba and opened it and let prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam enter inside there were idols inside numerous idols inside and they were all thrown down he sallallahu alaihi wasallam also saw pictures of wrong images of prophet ibrahim and ismail alayhi salam and he erased all such images which were inside the kaaba room after the cleaning of the kaaba was done then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to the door of the kaaba prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had also said prayers inside the kaaba the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was full of thanks and prayers when he came out he saw that all the people of makkah had gathered outside with fearful eyes they were looking at him they were worried about the harm that might have could be done to them they were wondering if the messenger of allah was going to give them some punishments was he going to leave them hungry or thirsty or what if he would kick them out of makkah all these things were awful they had done all these things to the prophet and the muslims long time ago after prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had cleaned the kaaba inside and outside from all the idols he now came to the door to give a message to the people he addressed all the people addressing what bad a heart can have so that their hearts would be clean of all idols too muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a prophet of love and compassion he was so different he was sent to the world as a mercy anger revenge hatred these were not at all in his character at all he could take it now he had all the power that any person could have in makka now and yet he was not using it he only wanted peace and brotherhood in the world and he was not going to do any such things to the pagans or the muslims or anyone to speak of he sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood at the door of the kaaba smiled and said o people of makka know that there is no creator other than allah he has destroyed all those who were thinking of wicked things for him o people of quraish surely allah has abolished from you all pride of the pre-islamic time and all the pride of your ancestry all men are from adam alayhi salam and adam alayhi salam was made out of dust verily the most honorable of you near allah is the one who is pious has taqwa and does righteous things and avoids sins so do good verily allah is all knowing and all aware after this prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the people o oh, you people of quraish 
What do you think of the treatment that I am about to accord to you? What a beautiful way of asking the people what they would want from him. We hope for the best, they replied. You are an honourable brother and the son of an honourable brother. Prophet Muhammad simply said, Have no fear this day. Go your way for you're all free. This was amazing. Prophet Muhammad descended and sat in the sacred mosque. He then returned the keys to Usman bin Talha radiallahu anhu and said, The keys shall remain with you. How beautiful again! When all the Makkans heard these words, they looked at each other with great hope in their eyes. They couldn't believe it. They were very embarrassed. How generous had the Prophet ﷺ been? They didn't know what to say. So they could go to their homes in joy and being happy. They had not seen anyone have so much compassion and kindness as the Prophet ﷺ. So we will stop here and continue with the other events of the same day next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.